Welcome to DIY RV and Home Camper's Life. My name's Greg. We spent the week up at uh, Horse Deep Reservoir, Cascade, Idaho. While we were up there, uh, one of the projects we uh, accomplished was putting some carpet onto our steps. Now, these are the mats that I picked up. Found them at the dollar store and stopped by Harbor Freight, picked up a grommet installation kit. And we're going to take those along with some rope and we are going to put some carpet on our steps. Now, I've gone ahead and marked out the width of the carpet on the on that piece of wood right there and I am evenly just marking out five lines and I'm going to use those as references as to where I'm going to punch holes in the carpet for the grommets. Now as I was doing that I decided I wanted to bring the outside edges in a little bit closer or excuse me a little bit further in make it an inch and a half versus the three quarters I initially had it. A little bit more uh, material for those to uh, bite on to. Here is the kit from Harbor Freight, 63237. And that comes with all needed tools and the grommets. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the hole punch itself right here, grab a hammer. And I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of smacks with that onto the table to uh, make some reference holes or reference marks on the carpet didn't want to go too crazy because it was a little loud hitting on that park bench we were during the week there wasn't very many people around uh, so we were trying to be courteous and minimize the noise that we were creating once we got uh, some uh, reference marks on them i went ahead and uh, started uh, finishing the holes on this piece of firewood right here and it was a whole lot quieter doing it on this and uh, just work my way around five holes on each edge of the carpet doing it two times two so once uh, I get that all punched in and done then I'll come back and uh, we'll go ahead and get the grommets put on and now we're just finishing up the last hole getting that done Clean up my mess, make sure I'm not leaving anything on the ground. Now, this is what they call the bottom grommet tool. It's kind of like the die uh, for the grommet, so I set that down. Went ahead and got to the grommet. Now, the grommet looks like almost like a top hat without a uh, top of the hat, if you want to call it that. So it's got a shoulder on it. Set that on the uh, bottom put the carpet through and then there is what they call the washer that goes on top. Once that's in place then go ahead and take the top grommet tool and go ahead and give it a couple smacks and that will roll the edge of that uh, shoulder from the grommet onto that uh, washer and secure it. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this 19 more times. Now these grommets they're fairly light, so I wouldn't uh, expect them to be um, hold up on your uh, heavy-duty use. These are more of a light-use grommet, but uh, they're going to work perfectly for what uh, we're doing. So, as you can see, just kind of rinse, repeat, uh, put the grommet on, the carpet, the washer, and then give it a couple taps and. Uh, seem to work really good again like I say lightweight uh, tarps lightweight uh, carpets like this or something that you're gonna do um, projects these will be very suffice now once we got all those done I went ahead and uh, started uh, to secure it to the step um, here I'm just uh, figuring out what I want to do uh, get a knot. What kind of knot I want to use? I just used actually a couple overhand knots um, and uh, started weaving through each one of the grommet holes back and forth with the rope. And then I'm going back through and pulling some of the slack out, getting them tighter and tighter. Each time I go back and forth. About this time is when my wife said I might want to go underneath that one bar right there. And that was actually a very good idea. So 
back uh, unlaced and relacing it again I go and now I'm asking her to give me a little hand while I start tightening these up. Yes I left it a little bit long and that's all right I just kind of start weaving the rope back through until I got to a point and I just tied it off a couple half hitches. I just want to see and make sure that it's going to work before I continue. So now it's the test. My wife's going to go ahead and walk up and uh, see if it just slips, see how it feels, and see if it's worth continuing to put the other one on. Survey says, yeah, yep, she'll do. So now, because I couldn't fold this one over and tie it from the bottom, I had to lay on my side to uh, go ahead and uh, secure this one. And it was simple, same thing as the top, as the bottom step, just on my back. So, got them both in place. They went in, looked good. So here's the before and after. For us, it was a good deal. They worked really good, no problems. Our dogs are able to get up and down the steps a lot easier. So if you did like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share it. And until next time, happy camping.